Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, today we celebrate the feast of the St. Morris and the Theban Legion. They were martyred in the year 286 under the um, Emperor uh, Maximianus. Egypt, um, in particular with um, Alexandria as its capital, was intensely Christian, passionately so. They were even called fanatics. Today's feast, that of St. Maurice and the Theban Legion, is a feast celebrated from the 4th century. Um, and it's celebrated not only by the Catholic Church, Latin Church, but also by the Orthodox Church and the Coptic Church, which shows you how important this feast is, as well as how ancient. As I said, the Egypt was regarded as the furnace, if you like, of, of Christianity. The great fathers, the monks, in fact, St. Anthony, had established the monasteries in the desert, and to this um, people flocked by the thousands. The, em the empire was, of course, pagan, hostile to Christianity. The Christians were regarded as um, subversive. They were regarded as enemies of the state. And the reason, because we regarded God as first and foremost before the emperor, whereas the emperors thought of themselves as gods. The, there was a rebellion in Gaul, in Burgundy to be exact, and the emperor, uh, Maxim, Maximianus, decided that the Theban legion, which was in Thebes, in Egypt, should be the one to settle the matter with the Gauls. The Romans seldom had um, natives, na uh, na um, the, the, the legion with a lot of um, the natives, settling problems in their native country for obvious reasons. And so they'd often take foreign legions um, to, the, to the countries where there were disturbances. And so the, the Theban legion set off to Gaul, and they came to what is today St. Bernard's Pass. And there the emperor um, decided to test their loyalty. And so he asked them, first of all, that they should offer sacrifice to the, to the gods, to the Roman gods, and that secondly, they would attack one of the towns where there were Christians. And this was, uh, in fact, a test. And so the, they, they said, no, they would not do this. They would not offer sacrifice to pagan gods. The emperor was enraged and ordered the decimation of the Theban legions, the Theban legion. That meant that every tenth man would be killed. And the Theban legion submitted. The legion consisted of some 6,600 men. So 660 of them were killed. And again, the emperor gave the order. And this time, St. Maurice, who was the leader, spoke on behalf of the um, legionaries, and he said, we are faithful servants of the state, but we serve God first. We cannot dirty soil our hands with innocent blood, nor will we offer sacrifice to gods who are not gods. He went on to say, 
we took an oath to God before we took an oath to the emperor. In other words, we've been Christians before we became legionaries. If we fail to keep our first oath, how do you know we will keep the second? And of course, all of this is very reminiscent of um, St. John Fisher and St. Thomas More, but it, um, it's, it's more than 1,300 years before. And so the emperor was even more enraged and ordered a second decimation of the, of the legions. But they remained adamant. At this point, the emperor, seeing that there would be, there was no way he could convince these men, 5,000 men, to submit, he ordered the wholesale slaughter of every one of them. And so they, they were surrounded, and the Theban legions laid down their arms. They said they would not fight against the state. They would not obey the state in this matter. The emperor had no authority to command them either to worship false gods or to kill um, innocent people. And so they were killed. The outcome was, of course, the there was the river, the rivers ran with blood. But their their fidelity to Christ was so well recognized that the the um the the, the city where this where this um took place is called after Saint Maurice. Even today is in Swit in Switzerland. And what is even more striking, throughout France there are five cathedrals named after St. Maurice and more than 650 churches, chapels, and abbeys named after St. Maurice. Not only in France, but also the, the, the history of the Theban legion is well known and celebrated in Germany, in um, Switzerland, and in Italy. The the, um, the Roman emperors were part of their regalia for their coronation, and this is from the um, ninth century, in, involves using the sword and the spurs of St. Maurice. There were many, many um, paintings, mosaics, uh, frescoes depicting the, the death of the Theban legion, the martyrdom of the St. Maurice and his companions. And these were well known. In fact, the, when, when, we, when you visit the churches dedicated to him, especially the older ones, you'll notice that the images are of, of legionaries who are black, which again brings us to the present day, when many people foolishly believe that the, the, the church has uh, um, ha, um, was prejudice. In fact, we find that um, many, close to over a thousand canonized saints in East and West were in fact of African origin. And we recall that even um, Pope Benedict's the 16th um, Pontifical Crest, there is the black moor the, um, on, on it, indicative of the close association of the African church with, with the, the, the Roman church. And so the witness given by the, by the um, martyrs calls to mind what our Lord said, you know, that, um, th that the, we, we need to give to God what is his due and to Caesar what is his due. And certainly, this applies to us even today. And we face a very difficult time at the present where we see that the state is intruding into the faith and the religious practice of, of Christians and of Catholics in particular. So we ask for that wisdom that the martyrs had, the courage that they had to stand firm and to give to God what is his due and to give to Caesar what is his due. But always we remain servants of God above all things.
in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro 